Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss about electronic science paper of UGC N18 which was conducted on 3rd December 2019. In this part 1 video, I am going to cover question number 1 to question number 13. In MOS technology, the isolation used is first option diode isolation, second option PN junction isolation, third option oxide isolation, fourth option vacuum isolation. We know in MOS technology, we are going to make use of oxide isolation, so option C is correct. Second question, choose the incorrect statement. First option, what they have told is, the speed of the DC motor can be varied by controlling armature voltage. That statement is correct, but they are asking for incorrect statement. So, statement 1 is false. The speed of the DC motor can be varied by controlling the field currents. Yes, but they are asking for incorrect statement. So, second option is also wrong. Third statement, what it says is, the speed of the DC motor can be varied by controlling the armature current that is a measure of torque demand true but they are asking for incorrect statement so statement 3 is also wrong fourth option what it says is for a speed more than the base speed you can't achieve more than base speed hence it is an incorrect statement hence option D is correct third question the voltage gain of the common source amplifier is we know voltage gain of common source amplifier is negative because it is having a phase shift of 180 degree even a common emitter configuration will also produce a phase shift of 180 degree so you have to hunt for negative sign so minus sign is correct option a is coming true so what option 3 says is a is correct d is wrong so option 3 is going to follow fourth question in 8051 microcontroller which register is used for serial communication we know in serial communication we are going to transfer bit by bit so we require buffer so we are going to make use of s buff register hence option c is going to follow fifth question in n channel enhancement type mosfet as vgs is increased beyond threshold voltage what is the effect of charge carriers they are asking whenever the effective voltage vgs minus vth is increased the free charge density also increases and current also increases because we know that current in saturation region which is equal to mu on c ox w by l into vgs minus vth whole square by 2 and in the linear region it is mu on c ox w by l into vgs minus vth into vds minus vds square by 2 so current is a function of vgs minus vth so option d is going to follow sixth question consider the waveform as shown in the figure you have to write the time domain representation now whenever you are having a slope you are, you can represent as t and whenever you are having a step it is u of t so here you are having a positive ramp and at 2 you should have a negative ramp and you should have a negative step so you should hunt for plus minus minus so the only option that will follow is option number 4 is going to follow seventh question the process which offers the possibility of growing high quality oxides at temperature even lower than the achieved with the high pressure technique is first option wet oxidation second option dry oxidation third option anodic plasma oxidation fourth one is hydrochloric ray oxidation we know we are going to make use of anodic plasma oxidation hence option 3 is going to follow eighth question assertion what they have told is gain margin is a factor by which system gain can be decreased to drive it to the verge of instability so this statement is wrong and the reason what they have specified is gain margin is reciprocal at the gain at frequency at which the phase angle becomes 180 degree so reason is correct but assertion is wrong so the option that follows is option number d is going to follow ninth question you have to find the functional equivalent at the output say suppose functional equivalent at the output i can represent it by f and at x you are getting a plus a b which is equals to a and at y you will be getting b plus b c which is equals to b and at z you will be getting c plus a b so at f you will be getting a into b into c plus a b you will be getting which is equals to a plus b plus c hence option number a is going to follow tenth question you have to opt for correct statements first statement what it is saying is the roc is a ring or disc in the z plane centered at origin yes it is having a unit radius the roc contains all poles no roc should not contain poles 
ROC are the lines parallel to J omega axis. If X of n is finite duration, then the ROC is entire Z plane. Possibly Z equals to 0 or Z equals to infinity is true statement. And if X of n is right sided sequence, ROC extend inwards they are telling. So it is wrong. So A and C are correct. Hence option number 4 is going to follow. 11th question, four sources are generating information as given below. You have to arrange the entropy in descending order. Look at over here, first option what it says is, source 1 is emitting the sequence with a probability P1, P2, P3, P4 which is equals to 1 by 4. So, entropy is maximum whenever probability is equiprobable. So, you have to hunt for the first option that is option number 2 is going to follow. 12th question, the figure of merit of a logic family is given by the product of propagation delay and power dissipation, hence option B is correct. 13th question, consider the following statements regarding the complete incidence matrix of order n cross b. This statement you can relate with respect to signal flow graph. What the first option says is, the element aij of a equals to 1, if branch j is associated with node i, and orientation is towards node i is wrong. The element a i j of a equals to minus 1 if the branch j is the cut set i and the orientation is coincide. So option b is also wrong. Third option the element a i j of a equals to 1 if branch j is associated with node i and the orientation is away from node i. So if the orientation is towards j then you are going to take it as positive. Fourth option, the element aij of a equals to 1 if the brand j is not associated with node i is correct. So for further information, you can refer to signal flow graph concepts. So option c and d is correct, hence option 3 is going to follow. Fourteenth question, what the assertion says is, the process of testing the frequency response of amplifier and filter can be done by sweep frequency generator that automatically varies its frequency over a predetermined range is true. The sweep frequency generator should have a ramp generator which implies a linear ramp voltage to the input of a voltage tuned oscillator is also correct. So re reason, so reason is the correct explanation for assertion hence option A is correct. 15th question, the figure of merit in DSBSC is always equals to 1. Don't ever get confused with respect to mu square divided by 2 plus mu square. 16th question, for an instrumentational amplifier, the following parameters are given. It is having high input impedance and low power consumption, they are asking. It is having more power consumption. Second option, low input impedance is wrong and low power consumption is also wrong. It is having high common mode dejection ratio, yes. It is having high sleeve rate, yes. What do you mean by common mode dejection ratio is, it is the ratio of differential gain to the common mode gain and what do you mean by sleeve rate is, how fast your circuit can track the changes with respect to your input. So option C is going to be followed. What the option D is going to say is, low CMRR and high sleeve rate is wrong. 17th question, a linear polarized wave traveling in x direction with E in the y direction can be represented as minus dou hz by dou x which is equals to conduction current that is jc which is equal to sigma into E by plus displacement current that is equals to j omega epsilon E y they are telling. First option what they are telling is the following statements are given for the above expression. It is a scalar phasor equation they are telling. Yes. And sigma EY represents displacement current is wrong. J omega epsilon EY represents conduction current they are telling it is wrong. So these two statements should be interchanged at the time it would have been correct. If sigma is not equal to 0 and the displacement current is much greater than the conduction current, yes. In the case of transformers, you will be having displacement current, not the conduction current. Because from primary winding to secondary winding, there will be an isolation. Hence, option number 2 is correct. 18th question, which register of 8051 microcontroller is used after implementing the following set B PSW.4. We know that we are going to make use of bank 2. Hence, 
ऑप्शन नंबर डी इज करेक्ट पी एस डब्ल्यू स्टैंड फॉर प्रोसेस स्टेटस वर्ड नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स आर गिवन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू डीसी मोटर्स यू टू अन फॉर द करेक्ट ऑप्शन डीसी मोटर्स रिक्वायर्स लेस मेंटेनेंस देन ए सी मोटर्स इज रॉन्ग डी सी मोटर्स के नॉट प्रोवाइड हाई स्टार्टिंग टॉर्क डी सी मोटर्स आर नॉट सुटेबल फॉर वेरी हाई स्पीड अपलिकेशन येस इट इज नॉट सुटेबल फॉर हाई स्पीड अपलिकेशन फॉर हाई स्पीड अपलिकेशन वी आर गोइंग टू मेक यूज ऑफ ए सी मोटर्स द मेथड ऑफ स्पीड कंट्रोल ऑफ डी सी मोटर्स आर सिंपलर एंड लेस एक्सपेंसिव देन दोस ऑफ ए सी मोटर्स दे आर आस्किंग इवन दिस स्टेटमेंट इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट सो ऑप्शन सी एंड डी इज करेक्ट एंड ऑप्शन ए एंड बी इज रॉन्ग एंड ऑप्शन नंबर फोर इज गोइंग टू फॉलो You have to match the following. In list one, they have given the types of diode, and in the list two, they have given current expression. For p-n junction, we know that I equals to I naught into e power of v divided by eta v t minus one. So one is getting mapped to three MOSFETs. It is mu and cox w by l into vgs minus vth into vds minus vds square by two. It is in deep triode region. They have given. So this expression is for deep triode region. or deep linear region for jfet it is ids which is equals to idss into vgs minus vp the whole square where vp is the pinch of voltage and for ideal mis diode it is 5m minus chi plus eg by 2 minus chi b which is equals to 0 hence option number 1 is going to follow 21st question you have to identify the combination of logic circuits among the given options we know that in combination circuits we will not be having memory and we will not be having feedback so full adder is a combination circuit and multiplexer is a combination circuit shift registers and counters are sequential circuits hence option number 2 is going to follow that is statement a and statement d is correct 22nd question a list of different resistor configurations are given below first one shunt resistor second one series multiplier resistor third one array tron switch fourth one swamping resistor which of the above are used in dc ammeter we know that for increasing the ammeter range we are going to make use of shunt resistor and series multiplier resistor we are going to make use in the case of voltmeter array tron shunt is an universal shunt so we can make use in dc ammeter but in the case of swamping resistor we are going to make use in voltmeters 23rd question a divide by 50 counter can be realized using what do you mean by divide by 50 counter means which is going to count from 0 to 49 modern counter means which is going to count from 0 to 9 24th question arrange the following materials in increasing mobility of holes at 300 degree kelvin nothing but at room temperature they are asking first they have given with respect to carbon second germanium third one is silicon carbide Fourth one is gallium arsenide. We know that whenever you are going to add dopants, mobility decreases, strength increases. Now look at over here the band gap of carbon, which is equals to 5.1 electron volts. In the case of germanium, it is 0.67 electron volts, and in the case of silicon carbide, it is 2.3 electron volts, and in the case of gallium arsenide, it is 1.4 electron volts. And we know mobility of electrons. Somehow we can relate with respect to mobility of holes. and mobility of holes is less than mobility of electrons so in this table in this table i have given mobility of electrons so in the case of carbon it is zero and in the case of germanium it is 3500 in the case of silicon it is 1800 if you are doping with carbide it is less than 1800 in the case of gallium arsenide it is 8500 so we know mobility of electrons thereby we can relate with respect to mobility of holes 25th question a binary data sequence 1100110 is applied to a 16 array psk modulator for transmission the bit duration is 1 microsecond the transmission bandwidth of 16 array psk they have asked problems i am going to cover in later part of video for this option number 3 is correct Which of the following expressions is correct formula for definition of sensitivity of a CRT? Where D is deflection of fluorescent screen, L is distance from center of deflection plate, LD is effective length of deflection plate, D is the distance between the deflection plates, ED is the deflection voltage. 
so sensitivity is given by l l d divided by 2 d e a hence so option number 4 is correct match the following set b t r o set b t con dot 4 clear t r 1 corresponds to clear t con dot 6 set b t f 0 corresponds to set b t con dot 5 clear t f 1 corresponds to clear t con dot 7 set b and set b corresponds to set b and set b on the other side clear clear corresponds to clear and clear on the other side this is the int what you have to follow hence option number 2 is correct 28th question velocity transducer essentially consists of one of the following first option moving coil fixed in the magnetic field of permanent magnet false moving coil suspended in the magnetic field of permanent magnet true third option stationary coil fixed in the magnetic field of a supermagnet false stationary coil fixed in the forced balancing servo motor or servo system hence option b is correct the reason is moving coil consists of a permanent magnet located in the center of the copper wire coil 29th question this question has been asked n number of times for a semiconductor with electrons and holes as carriers the resistivity is given by we know resistivity rho equals to 1 divided by sigma which is equals to 1 divided by n q mu n plus p q mu p hence option number b is correct 30th question on the left side they have given digital voltmeters on the right side they have given the characteristics we know successive approximation is binary search or binary regression and dual slope or the ramp type is linear search so d is getting matched to 3 the only option so if you are very much thorough with respect to a to d converters and d to a converters you would have answered this question easily for a to d and d to a converters links are given in the description please go through it and the ramp type corresponds to linear ramp voltage rise from 0 volts to a level of input voltage dual slope converter corresponds to automatic zero correction staircase corresponds to internally generated staircase ramp voltage so staircase they have given on the left side on the explanation also they have given staircase here also they have given ramp type here also they have given linear ramp voltage so this question is an easy question according to me so in this video i have covered from question number one to question number 30 for the next part video links are given in the description please go through it thank you all the best for your exams please share your marks in the comment section